I can't be home, my Romeo. Get a grip, girl. It's only a play. You're right. You're right. I just can't seem to get rid of these butterflies in my stomach. Uh, Mrs. Bellman. <clears throat> and make her airy tongue more hoarse than mine with repetition of my Romeo. Juliet approaches balcony. Oops, sorry, little nervous. It is my soul that calls upon my name. Sorry, Mr. Sales, that was Romeo's line. That's okay, Sabrina. You read with verb and passion. I did? Cool. I want to thank you all for auditioning. Some of you more than others. The cast of characters is as follows. The role of the nurse will be played by Chloe Flynn. Huh? <laughs> and the role of Romeo shall be essayed by a Harvey Kinkle. Additional callbacks will be held on Saturday for the role of Juliet, which currently is a dead heat between Miss Sabrina Spellman <laughs> and Ms. Gemstone. And for the callback, Miss Stone, you may eschew the period costume. I get the idea. But uh, go ahead and bring the jester. I like him. Huh? FYI, my little Juliet's. At the final callbacks, equally important as a good reading will be how well you understand the true meaning of the play. It's all about the international language of love. The part will go to whichever one of you can best articulate the meaning of true love. Run away now, children. Your ignorance pains me. Mmm, here's a hot dancing daddy. What do you think, Zeld? I dance her, but I'm too busy ignoring you. There, all clean. You look like something I dragged in. What's wrong? I got called back for Juliet. Mr. Sale says he wants us to figure out the meaning of love. I'm 12 years old. What do I know about love? The meaning of love, huh? Well, I've always pictured love as a big field of daisies. Ah! Like you know anything about love. Around here, I'm the goddess Demore. Zelda's the one you ask when you want to clean a stubborn stain. You just have to make everything into a competition, don't you? In a competition, you have to have at least two teams. You, big sister, were born to forfeit. Are you calling me a loser? With a capital Lou? Okay, you're on. I bet you I will have a date for the dance, and I bet you he'll be way more babelicious than yours. Deal. The usual bet? Of course. Loser has to go to school wearing the rock hopper penguin suit. She'll see. This time, I won't be the one in the penguin suit. Want a snack? Get lost. What a grumpalina. Oh. Don't listen to them, Aunt Zelda. I think you're high-grade babage. Thanks, honey, but the cat's right. Hilda is a man magnet. There's no way in the nine netherworlds I'm gonna find a hunkier date than her. Let's check out your copy of the play. Maybe I can at least help you with your problem. Well, hello, hottie. Sabrina, why didn't you tell me this Romeo was a total stud? Oh, maybe because he's, I don't know, fictional? Fictional schmictional. He'd make one totally nectar date for the homecoming dance. Oh, no. If I walk into the dance with Romeo, I would smoke Hilda like the waddling penguin she is. Uh, wouldn't that be cheating? Well, if Romeo were here, he could also help you with your audition. Yeah. Then I'd be sure to soliloquize the designer pants off Jem. <laughs> Time to dip into my private magic stash. It is Romeo that I do wish to see. Wherefore art thou in my kitchen be? Ah, oh, to soar with his light feathers. And so bound, I cannot bound a pitch above dull woe. Under love's heavy huh? burden do I sink. Uh, sweet mother of Shakespeare. You low-down dirty witch. How dare you cheat to win the bet? You're just jealous you didn't think of it first. Earth to Zelda! If Enchantress sees him, she'll give us another hundred years in these zit-riddled bodies for sure. Enchantress? Enchantress coming? 